cleaning CPU socket on motherboard. These pins are very fragile. This particular socket uh, from this gigabit motherboard is a LG 1151. It has a 1,151 pins in there. So you got to be very careful because if you bend any of those pins or mess it up. So I was already putting a little bit in it. But I drain it in alcohol. Like you're never going to kill it. It's not going to do anything to it. It's actually good for it. It cleans it out. I don't know if you can see it there. Don't listen to what other people be saying to put a, to stick a toothbrush in there or whatever. I wouldn't advise it for no one to do that. I wouldn't advise you to put a, that's not hitting the pins because it's actually I'm just putting this uh, cloth under so it will leak on top of this. Even though it don't matter. There's alcohol, but I'm picky like that. So, I'm not laying the pins on that either. This is actually has like a... I use the same socket, you know, as a kickstand. But, so that's how I clean mines and... I'm cleaning this whole motherboard. But the main thing was to show you right here how you clean the socket to the motherboard. And that's how I clean mines. I don't know about anybody else. I don't stick nothing in there. Before I came in on and started making this quick video for you guys to show you how to clean the CPU socket on motherboard. What works for me, I had something, like one of the pins came up because I passed a Q-tip real quick there. You don't want to do that because the pins get caught within the Q-tip and you can lift up the pin like it just happened to me. And I had to take this little fiberglass razor and lay the pin back down there. And I went through this about a year ago with the sockets and evening out sticking a razor blade in between the lines and going like that to make sure that the pins were aligned and straightening out certain pins and I just didn't feel like going through that today but that just happened to me so you have to be careful and you have to be careful you don't get no cotton in there or nothing because it could stop the actual socket from functioning properly. So let's see. It should be like dry. This is actually like air, but well, it is air, it's like compressed air. The dust uh, removal spray. So that'll just dry up there. For the most part, it was cleaned already. It wasn't that filthy. Or you would see dirt all over this. First of all, you would see the mark of the dirt on the motherboard. And you would definitely see it on this Q-tip. Like this dirt was already there that little bit. You would see it like black, black. So it was actually not that bad. I just wanted to put alcohol in it. And it does not damage the socket, the alcohol at all. As long as it's, you already know, 91% or 70% alcohol. Either or is what I use. They both work fine. So be careful with, don't put Q-tips in that socket.
Trust me. I've had been there for hours trying to pick out a little piece of cotton. And then come to find out, you pull a pin. And now you find yourself trying to get that pin back in there. Let me know if this was uh, informative to you or what you think. Would you like to see more content like this? Uh, it's always important to clean that socket up. So that's how I clean my socket. Thank you for tuning in. Consider subscribing. Uh, links will be in the description where you can get even this motherboard. It's an awesome gigabit motherboard. And I'm going to show you guys in the next video how to place the actual CPU in there the correct way.